Hello and welcome to this the DCS video. In this video I'm looking at the MiG-21 uh, which is the latest addition to the DCS series and it is a really nice addition I have to say. Um, it's got the potential to be a very exciting and fun aircraft to drive and I'm just going to take it for a very quick spin because I haven't spent much time. I've tried a couple of landings, takeoffs and landings and that's it. Um, and I just got the essential controls working to allow me to do that and I'll give you the benefit of what I've done so far you can see I've got um, the various control surfaces mapped um, my tow brake I'm not sure works properly uh, I've got one of the tow brakes mapped to the, the brake which is on the throttle so I'm not sure how the differential um, the mapping should be worked if there's any on this aircraft um, the, these three buttons here are for the flaps and we have flaps up, flaps down and flaps for landing so we're down for takeoff here our gear is a bit tricky and caught me out because you've got to release a little switch on the top to allow the gear to be, um, out to be raised in flight so uh, you just need to be careful of that and the other instruments on the left here are the regular instruments uh, altimeter VVI, um, ADI, HSI and I'm just going to quickly go outside and have a look at all the control surfaces that should be working so I'm just I'm just cycling my stick you can see everything is working there and my rudder so with that in mind all we're going to do is going to do a, a quick circuit take off um, run it up, run the speed up a little bit and get a feel for it and then uh, attempt to land. So the only thing I've done is I've checked what, um, I don't have it mapped to my HOTAS, um, I've checked what um, key it is for the parachute deployment which is P and I'm not sure how to disconnect the parachute. I've tried the key mappings and uh, I wasn't successful the last time around but not too concerned about that, I just want to get up there, fly around a bit and land. So with that in mind, let's um, let's do a takeoff. So I'm applying the brakes and throttle full on. And away we go. It gives a lovely feel as we roll down uh, the runway. You've got this kind of shaking and it's because of the the narrowness of, of the aircraft is so at 400 of 350 uh, you can see I was able to rotate 360 um, kph so positive rate of climb see here and I'm going to bring up our gear and open and up with our gear and up with our flaps and they're all good here Okay, I mean it's so different from flying SU-25 and even the A-10. Um, look at how quickly, look at how quickly the speed climbs there. We're at a thousand kph is there. Like, and that's just in a really short space of time. And it really feels like we're flying fast which I'm, I've had uh, Flaming Cliffs since the first version came out but um, it really didn't do it in the way this uh, jet seems to do it so I'm going to come back in over the airfield let's do a low level pass and then we'll come back around and we land
now I know the system is within the system there's a lot of constraints on uh, engine um, and how, me how long you've been in the air and so on and uh, we're not going to stay too long But you can, you get such a sensation of speed, and I've, I've always um, really wanted a an aircraft that can make you feel like you're going fast on this wonderful terrain that DCS have, and that uh, this is certainly going to fit the bill for me. And. I love the way everything is modelled, um, like a really well-worn jet, you know, reflecting the ear that this this jet was designed in and the age of it. You can see all the way the you can see the graphics, the way the paintwork is chipped and so on. Okay, we're back down to seven fifty. So let's start making our approach. down. It's two notches to take the gear down, which got me out one time, one of the times I tried to land. And the other thing that's um, it's a bit awkward is the visibility as the angle of attack gets higher is poor in terms of, of seeing the end of the runway. So there may be a seat adjustment there or something like that, I'm not sure, but it um, can be hard to see. Okay, we're it's a little under 400 here now. Starting to drop it down. Just raise it up a little bit. Looks good. Whoops. Coming down to two hundred. Now I need to deploy my parachute. Just left it a bit too late for parachute deployment. However, we still have an aircraft fully intact. And that's my first impressions of um, the MiG-21. It looks absolutely wonderful. It feels, it feels like a real aircraft, if that's what a real aircraft feels like. Um, well, certainly it, it's, it rem it's very similar in the feel and the way it behaves to the Su-25, except um, it flies like a rocket. And uh, I'd highly recommend anybody who's interested in the advanced flight models of these aircraft to give this a try. I'm certainly going to try and spend a good bit of time with this aircraft now. Thanks for watching.